So you decided to do date night at home. Today I'm going to share with you some very grown-up snacks or appetizers for the evening. Stay tuned. Hi guys and welcome back to Creative Glam. My name is Sharon. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. I'm so glad you stopped by and if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit the notification bell twice so you won't miss out on any of my future videos. I hope you guys enjoy the way this video turns out and if you do, I would love it if you would leave me a comment and I'd also love it if you gave me a big thumbs up. We have a standing date night and it's usually at the end of a very long week. We haven't had an opportunity to spend much time together, so we look forward to date night. And the best ones are when we do date night at home. So I'm gonna put together a cheese tray. I'm also gonna do a bowl of truffle and sea salt popcorn. And I've got some eclairs for dessert. Let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is place the cheeses. When you're at the store or trying to decide what cheeses to put together, try to get a variety of cheeses. Let's see. I've got a slice of blue cheese. I'm trying to see how am I gonna place it. I'm gonna place it about right there. All of these items I picked up at my local grocery store. Um, I don't know if you all have a Wegmans where you are, but that is my go-to grocery store. And the cool thing about this is if you want to add meats to this tray, um, you can do that and make it more of a meal. But mine is really just going to be snacks and appetizers. This here is Fontina cheese. I like Fontina. It's a buttery type cheese. And then I'm going to add some Gruyere. Gruyere. I love Gruyere. It's a very strong cheese. All these cheeses are really kind of strong. And I'm going to save space in between. I might end up having to cut these down because they seem a little long. But we'll see how that works. And then I've got, uh, and most of those are hard cheeses. So we've got Fontina, Blue, and Gruyere. And then I have some Brie. Again, I just purchased slices because I, you know, it's just the two of us. It's not like I'm having a dinner party or anything where I have to feed several people. It's just the two of us. So this is more than enough for our date night. And then I've got some. So actually these are uh, cranberries and figs that have been marinated in honey. And then I've got some peeled and roasted and honey glazed almonds. You'll find this all in the cheese section. I got some olives. These olives have been marinated. They're, they're called sangria olives. They've been marinated in sangria and they have crushed red pepper flakes in them. So they're slightly sweet, slightly salty, and slightly spicy. They are fantastic. You can see the oranges and the red, crushed red pepper flakes in there. And you can also get the little, uh, the little individual chalkboard signs um, to put, if it was, if I was having a party or I was entertained, I would get something to flag these so that the person so that the party goers know what each item is. It's always nice to let them know what they're about to eat. Tuscan style crackers baked with garden herbs. So I'm gonna add that to the tray. And once, uh, make sure you wash your fruit and make sure you thoroughly dry it. Make sure you, you know, it's dry really well before you put it on the tray. I have a slice of brie. Next to the brie, I have marinated figs and cranberries. Um, the figs and cranberries have been marinated in honey. I have slices of Fontina cheese. And next to that, I have olives. Olives that have been marinated in a sangria with red pepper flakes. So they're a little bit sweet from the orange sangria. They're a little bit salty because they're olives. And they're a little bit spicy from the red pepper flakes. They're absolutely fantastic. I got those from the olive bar. Next to that, I have a slice of blue cheese. Next to that, I have some Tuscan crisps with garden herbs, crackers. Next to that, I have some Gruyere. Um, and then next to that, I have some peeled and roasted honey glazed almonds. 
And next to that, I have some rosemary bruschetta. And in the center, I have red seedless grapes and I have blackberries and raspberries. That is more than enough for the two of us. And I also have some popcorn. I have some truffle and sea salt popcorn. And I also have some eclairs. Uh, two of them are topped with white chocolate and one is topped with milk chocolate. Now I'm going to make some drinks. Now you can change the cheeses on this tray up pretty much to whatever it is that floats your boat. Whether it's cheddar, whether it's mozzarella, whether like I did, brie, blue cheese, fontina or gruyere. Whatever cheeses that you and your special person enjoys, as well as whatever seasonal fruit that's available. You can also take and make those mocktails into cocktails. You can actually make these into mimosas if you added some champagne. You can also take and add lemon lime soda. I did that in another video. I'll link that above. But that's it guys, we're all done. I wanna thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my video. Date night at home with snacks and appetizers. For all my returning subscribers, thank you so much. I appreciate your support. And for all my new subscribers, Welcome, and thanks for subscribing. Thanks for joining the Creative Glam team. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a comment below. I appreciate you being here, and I would love it if you gave me a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below, along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And with that being said, have a blessed day, and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye!